Okay, hi everyone, and welcome to uh, the third part of uh, the basics of Game Maker. And uh, today we're going to get our um, play button done. I'll uh, show you how to animate sprites, and I'll uh, touch down on parenting. And that's parenting objects, not child skills. But first, let's uh, do a bit of animation. So, um, what I've got here is a new graphic for our enemies. This is the one that takes more shots. Zoom in. As you see, it's kind of a box with what seems to be a helicopter doodad. So, um, what I'm actually going to do is copy and paste it on this menu, which adds a frame. Obviously, it doesn't move at all yet because I haven't done anything, but what I'm going to do is give the illusion. Of it, um, of the propellers flying. And then I'm going to do this one. So, so now we have like what looks seems to be a little propeller whirling, and we can slow it down a bit. But obviously, that's uh, but that's only testing. Yeah. So um, th that's how you animate, pretty much. It's just um, copy and paste your frames or add new frames. And then uh, you go into the edit, edit it, and then it plays. So that's all there is to know about that, really. <clears throat> and I'll do that one later. Okay, so um, let's um, do our play button. So, button. So I'm just going to hurry along and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I'll uh, do it later. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to do OBJ. Button. Now, simply, I'm going to add event mouse left button, which means left button on this object. Then we're going to. Oh, I've confirmed it. Here you go, move to next room. And I, I don't like the effects, so I'm going to leave it there. Now, one thing we do want to do is just put next check above this because that just means if later on if you change the order of your rooms or something if you click on your button it won't crash because there's no room so all this does is just double check that there is somewhere to go and then it goes there so that's just um, for safety later on if you like so we create another room now move it to the top so it's the first room that's launched and put menu let's go into it now if we put our menu button in, which you can't see because the background's grey. Background sky. There's our play button. Okay. So if we give that a quick voice. So we click and we're in our room with my new the graphic enemies and such. Okay. So next we're gonna do parenting. Now this is a bit more complicated than anything else I've done. So um a bit of extra attention may be required. Now um what parenting does is basically share events between a group of objects. Uh, the best way to explain it is in real life you'll have traits from your parents and that's pretty much how it works here too so example is I'm going to make an object which I will not use but I will call base baddie which means this is the basics of every enemy in the game because obviously our game is quite simple so whatever I put in here will happen to everything so I'm going to go in step variable HP no sorry if variable HP so it is smaller than one destroy self and that's a very basic way of doing it so now we're going to leave that now and go on to our first buddy no sorry our second buddy is the one with health now if you look what we have here is pretty much what I've done in there if HP is equal to zero destroy let's check off put destroy so what we're actually going to do is remove this event now and we're going to give it the parent of base baddie so now what we've done is pretty much give it that step event 
Now, one thing to take note of, if I was to put a step event in body 2 because it's got its own step event, it would ignore the parents event. So, if I show you now that the enemy will still be destroyed because it's getting its coding from its parent, which is our base body. We get this one. Okay, so they're still being destroyed because of their the parent. Now, just to explain that a little more, I shall get rid of. No. <laughs> ah, okay then. Let's quickly make something new. An explosion. So I'm going to call my spur. Bang. Now, I made an explosion on one of the other takes of this tutorial that I was quite happy with. So I shall try and mimic what I did, which was scribble a lot in explosion type colours. Mm, not that grey is an explosion type colour, but scribble, yeah. We have a scribble. Animation. Shrink. To centre. Now these are very useful. There's, they can do all sorts. Like there we go. For a scribble that isn't looking too half bad. So now to create an explosion object is quite nicely uh, simple. So we're going to go object bang. Set the sprite. Right now we're going to look at a new event which is animation end. This basically means that when it's played its five frames of animation we've gave it it will destroy itself. So now what we're going to do is to have base bad eight. also if the HP is smaller than 1 to create an explosion. Now looking at this you may believe this will work. Now I'll explain something new in these last few minutes which is if Daniel can find it no, these. Okay so these are blocks now, as you can see, doing that, using the beginning and end, I've put these in a group. Now, this actually means now that this affects everything in between these. Um, and that's, I think that's the best I can explain it, to be honest. It isn't too complicated. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll go with that. Okay, so now, with, with our parenting that we've done, if we check the game now, See if they create an explosion. Bang, and they do. And that's all thanks to the parenting. Now, obviously, that means now that creating enemies is much easier. If I was to du duplicate the baddie, I don't have to mess with too much. I can go HP, say 7, moving speed lowered to 1. Call it object. Now, duplicating it was a bad example, to be honest. But um, like for, ah, for that, we can move the uh, collision with bullet event to a parent as well, and basically it makes it easier to create enemies without having to code too much. Now, I can't remember what else I'd say I'd do in this tutorial, but I think that is that's basically it for this one. As a, um, so this is the basics kind of done. Um, if there's anything in particular you'd like me to do a tutorial on that's um, involved with Game Maker, then uh, drop a comment and I'll see what I can do. If there's anything in this tutorial you didn't understand, please um, post a comment and um, I'll answer it. And as I said, if you make anything cool and my tutorial helped, a video response or even a link to what you've made would be much appreciated. I can see what you're up to. So, um, thanks for watching and uh, have fun.